I want to make my desk pretty and functional and so I've bought a bunch of stuff from Shein to hopefully help me achieve that. Hello, my name's Erin, I make bullet journaling and stationary content. And I guess this kind of falls into the realm of stationary, but also maybe a little bit home decor, interior designy. I work from home. I work here at my desk, in my office, in my house, a lot. <laughs> I spend a lot of time here. And the space isn't as functional as it maybe could be. I recently bought a bunch of proper stationary, like washi tapes and stickers and stuff like that from Shein. And I was really pleasantly surprised with the quality. Obviously Shein has a bit of a reputation, but it went really well and you guys seemed to like the video. So I was like, well, what else have they got? And there was one thing in particular that I needed for my desk that Shein was one of the only places I could find an option that I liked for it. So you'll see what that is later. If anything that I show in this video takes you fancy and you're like, oh, I want to check that out, maybe get my hands on one of those, I will put links in the description to all of the stuff. I also have a blog post with some more detailed photos of everything in case you want to like get an idea of the things in context rather than me just holding them up. All of that's in the description and in the blog post. There's a link to the blog post also in the description. They're not affiliate links or anything, these ones. I bought all this stuff with my own dollars. I haven't opened this yet. So this is gonna be some first impressions. Although my first impression is the bag is ripped and that doesn't fill me with joy. Aha, where to begin? Okay. Let's start with this one. This is a desktop humidifier. It's USB powered, I believe. I think it has to be plugged in to work. I don't think you like charge it up. I think you just plug it in. I've gone for the pink option. So sometimes it's a bit hard to tell on videos, but I painted the walls in my office this like almost white, very subtle pink. I have blue curtains and I have gold accents around. Like that's my color scheme, right? Pink, blue, gold. So I picked the pink one. Isn't it cute? Ooh. There are a bunch of different humidifier options on Shein. I went with this one because I liked that it was smooth. There's like a ribbed version. I was like, well, that's just gonna get dusty, isn't it? It's got instructions, but they are in Chinese, which... Oh, no, wait, there's English ones. I noticed at the time I was adding things to my cart that a lot of people had commented that the instructions were in Chinese and were very helpfully leaving translations in the reviews, which is really cool, but it does actually have English instructions. Oh right, they don't make sense. Okay, <laughs> click on boot spray, then point clearance spray. Click on the closed spray. Long press two seconds to freeze the current color breathing light effect. It's coming into winter here in Australia. I mean, autumn, then winter, because that's how it works. And it gets really dry. And I obviously spend a lot of time in this room. So for skincare purposes, mostly, I thought this would be nice to have. It's also just nicer to breathe, moisture, air, humidify that cost. $4.95 Australian. All of my prices are gonna be in Aussie dollars because that's where I live and what I paid. Obviously she and ship a lot of places internationally, so um, please convert to your currency. This is gonna be the big boy. Yeah, okay, this is the whole reason I wanted to do this haul. Anyone who does any kind of bullet or junk or art journal with stickers will know how annoying it is when your table is covered in sticker backings, especially when they're clear stickers and it's just that clear sheet of plastic and they're all weird shapes. And on my glass top to desk, they can be really hard to see. So they can just sit there for ages. So I thought, wouldn't it be great if I had a little bin, a little trash can on my desktop that I can just stick that stuff in as I go that is cute, that will hold enough stuff for a desk that, you know, I can empty it out whenever I need to. And turns out they're really hard to find. I found a really adorable one listed on the Miniso website, but I guess they don't stock it anymore. It must be old things. You can't buy it online, whatever. Found some on eBay. They were like kind of ugly. A lot of them are really utilitarian. Like Officeworks has mini desktop sized bins, but they're not pretty. And when you've put a lot of work into your aesthetic, you don't want to have like a gross black bin on the desk when everything else is nice, right? If any of you guys follow McKenna Lee, Exo McKenna, for like home renovation, home decor, home building at the moment content, she always says, I like my utilitarian stuff to still be pretty. Girl, same. <laughs> Which is why I've picked this bin from Shein. It's gray, okay? I would have loved it to be white. I would have loved it to be pink or blue. That was not an option. This is the best I could do. 
but you know what? The best I could do is gonna have to be good enough because I need this. This was $13.95 Australian, so by far the most expensive thing I bought. Oh, it's cute. Okay, this is a really good size. I like that it's not ugly as all get out. How easy. I don't even have to look at the trash that's inside. Actually, that was one of my main stipulations is that it had to have a lid but it still had to be really easily accessible. So if I've got like washi tape stuck all over my fingers and I'm like holding a pen and I just wanna put a bit of a sticker in the bin, I can just, done. I love it. I would have loved it more if it was pink, but you know. Oh, this is smaller than I expected it to be. So that's not a bad thing necessarily. This item considers itself a jewelry box, but I have different plans for it. I plan to use it in a stationary organization way. I'll show you, let me take it out first because it's noisy. Wait. That's exactly what I wanted. Okay, back to this. So this is supposed to be for organizing your jewelry. You've got a little perspex, acrylic, something plastic tub and a bunch of these little Ziploc plastic bags. So I guess you're supposed to put things like earrings and stuff in here and then you can organize them all in here like this. But I'm thinking stickers. So I actually organized all of my stickers recently into a display folder and um, it's unwieldy and annoying and I don't like it. Actually, in order to fit this in my drawer, I have to wrap a ribbon thing around it and tie it up to keep it compact enough that it will fit in the drawer so that when I open the drawer again, it can open and not like get blocked by all of this. I have paper in here as well. The paper I'll probably keep in the folder. I've also had to washi tape the top of these sleeves closed or everything would just slide out the top. So clearly, while it works, it's not the most effective sticker organization methods. But for the smaller ones, like the clear floral stickers and stuff like this, keep them all together. Keep them by kind. I don't know if I'm gonna have enough of these little bags. Apparently it came with 20, we shall see. But I just thought this would be a more effective way. Separate all the stickers out by color, put them in the drawer, and then you can kind of leaf through them like files rather than this behemoth right here, which hopefully once I get all of these smaller stickers out of this, it will be a more reasonable way to store paper and sheets of stickers. Let me know if you wanna see how that process goes and I will maybe make a video on that if you think it's worth it. Otherwise, I will just organize them on my own time. This is gonna change my life. This was $4.21 Australian. Now I've made a mess. I think I might just deal with that later. Next up is a slightly more stationary oriented option. It's this ruler template right here. So it's a 20 centimeter ruler along the top and then it has all of these circular cutouts as well, which I think will be really handy for if you wanna put stuff in like a wreath layout in your bullet journal or if you wanna give yourself an outline of a circle that you can put a heading in or whatever, you could do something cute with bubbles, I don't know, something like that. I'm gonna take this out of its bag because this truly didn't need to be in plastic. This is one of those random options on Shein where you know what item you're getting but you don't know the colorway. They seem to do that a lot with their stationery stuff and they've sent me the blue version. There were four different colorways, I think. I'm all right with that. I didn't really care what color I got but I'm happy with blue. This is a, it's a slightly flexible acrylic kind of stuff which is way better than the material that these other templates were made out of that I got from Wish a little while ago, which are like really flexible plastic. It's not as much fun as the Notebook Therapy Tsuki templates, which I'd love to get my hands on, but they're expensive. And I'm like, I don't know if that's worth it, to be honest. This was $3.95 and I'm gonna test it out and see what we think. So maybe you'll see this feature in some videos coming up soon. Who knows? Stick around and subscribe if you wanna see how I end up using this. I'm gonna try and challenge myself and do something with it soon. This next one is a little bit self-indulgent. So I spend a lot of time watching videos, listening to audiobooks, listening to podcasts while I work. I'm a photographer, so I spend a lot of time editing photos and that means that I can have something on in the background while I'm doing my work. And this is a desktop tablet holder. And I've gone for the gold because obviously I mentioned that 
that's the color that I accent with in here. It looks like it's gotten a little squished in transit. It looks wonky. I don't know how well that's gonna... I also don't wanna break it. Okay, just bending that out a little bit helped a little bit. <laughs> okay, okay, that's better. I'm currently using my iPad to record audio for this. It's where my microphone is plugged into, so I don't have a lot of leeway here, but I'm just gonna do what I can. Oh yeah. Yeah, okay, I'll get some B-roll shots of this when I'm not recording audio so you can kind of see better how that works, but okay, now that I've, ooh, she noisy. Now that I've bent it back into the correct shape, I'm quite happy with that. Keep in mind that the transit process might do a little bit of damage to that cutie. This one was only $3.95 and I've also got, oh, a brochure. You're invited to our full sale, no thanks. Maybe it's in here. I also got the phone version. Yes, it is. Okay, that feels a little bit more solid. I hope they're the same gold because unwrap first, then speak. Oh yeah, they're similar enough. The phone holder is a slightly like a greener, maybe slightly lighter gold. This one's a little bit more red, but they're close enough that I'm not mad at it. One thing I really like about this design for the phone stand is that there's a space at the bottom so you can plug it in. I'm currently charging this one, so I like the idea that it can still be plugged in while standing on the stand, you know? So it can be cute and classy and practical. And do you need a phone stand on your desk? Absolutely not, of course you don't. But I wanted it and it was only, again, $3.95. And I will use it, just not right now. If you hang around the bullet journaling circles on Instagram, you will have seen people peeling their stickers and placing them with tweezers. And part of me is like, why? You have fingers, but then I was like, what if I'm missing out? What's, what's all the hype about sticker tweezers? And then I just had to know. So, sticker tweezers. I'm one of them now. I'm, I've become that person. This was another random color option and I think they also had, some of them had like curved tweezer points and some of them had straight ones like this. I didn't especially care which one I got. They've sent me a cute periwinkle, which is great. Honestly, probably would have chosen that. These were only $1.95. I will report back on whether or not I think stickering with tweezers is better than stickering with fingers. And the last thing, that is way smaller than I expected. So these are some faux flowers and they look very faux. Wow, these are a little bit terrible. Ah, oh, but it's it's on wire. Okay, so I can bend them around. That's helpful at least. So these are <laughs> supposed to be, what's the official? Gypsophila? Baby's breath, right? The picture made them look like a big bunch. Photographer should know better than to believe a picture on the internet you can make stuff look very different to what it really is. But my plan was just to mix it with these flowers. So these are from Kmart, which is like Australia's equivalent to Target in the US. Oh, and this is an old candle receptacle that I've just spray painted and recycled. But um, these, I think these look really cute. Kmart do really affordable, like as far as I'm concerned in Australia, the most affordable, best quality looking fake flowers without you having to spend like $7 on a single peony, you know? This whole set was like five bucks. My plan is just to mix these in here with these and I'll probably still do that just to give it a bit of extra fullness, but like I'm underwhelmed by that one. It was only $1.95, so that's not a lot of, oh, it's sticking to me, wait, wait. Oh, chaos, solution. Look, they're not the worst fake flowers in the world. They're certainly not the best. I will still stick them in here and probably style them into some flat lays and stuff and just have them as general desk decor. I'll do it better than that. Yeah, all right. That was my last item and I feel like that's kind of underwhelming, but there it is. That's the that's the baby's breath. Let's talk briefly about how much all of this stuff cost and how long it took to reach me. So the total cost of all of these items was $39.60 Australian. I have the browser extension Honey. I'm not sponsored by them. I just use them and I got $5.92 off with a Honey code. Shipping was free, which I think is interesting because I've definitely had to pay for shipping when I had station reorders that were a higher price point than this. So I don't get what she ends shipping system is like there, it's kind of strange. So with the discount from Honey, I paid a grand total of $34.67 for all of this stuff, which I got eight items, 
the most expensive of which was under $14. Turnaround was really quick on this one. I placed my order on March 27 and it arrived this morning. I'm doing this really quickly because I really wanted to get using this bin. It, uh, so today's the 4th of April, so that's a one week turnaround to go from placing the order, then packing everything, shipping it, and it arriving to me one week later. Pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. So that's it for my desktop stationery slash decor haul from Shein. I keep wanting to call it deskware, but when I googled the word deskware, it came up with a company or an app or something and I was like, maybe I can't call it that. Is that what it's called? What do you call the stuff you put on your desk that isn't pens and paper? Existential questions for another day. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me for this video. If you're into bullet journaling and stationery and desk accessories like this, please do hit subscribe, stick around. I'd love to have you join my little internet family where we really like stationery. You can also join me on Instagram if you'd like to. I am at erinsmith.art. There is a link to my Instagram in the description as well, as well as other places that I hang out on the internet that you might be interested in, some discount codes and stuff like that, all down there. Thanks again. I hope you have a wonderful week and until I see you next Monday, stay safe, stay happy and make some cool stuff in your bullet journal. <laughs> That's the best outro we're going to get today. Bye.